Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Pat's Monday Stamping. Um, I say something different every week. Anyway, if you're here, let me know. And um, yes, um, looks like I'm live. All right. This is episode 47. And I am so excited to show you what I have to, to, to focus on today. Um, kind of switched gears. I know, let's see, this week is the beginning of fall. And I'm going to show a, a Christmas card, although it's really not a Christmas card. Um, so I will flip down in a moment to show you what I'm going to uh, be working on today. But I just want to tell you that only 10 days remain for celebration. Um, let me get this little celebration book out here and let me flip down so you can see my table. There we go. Um, yes, 10 days remain. And as far as I know, everything is available except for this awesome bedazzling specialty paper. It has sold out and it is all gone. Everything else is still available. And, um, We've got these cute little penguins, and I I might have to use those next week because I've not even used those yet, and they are so cute. Who doesn't love a penguin? Um, feels like home. I was almost going to do that one today, and I changed my mind. Hi, Sue. Welcome. Uh, this beautifully penned designer paper is available. Some peaceful prints paper that coordinates with the Peaceful Deer Bundle. Um, that's one that I don't have. Um, the Counting Sheep, adorable, and the Sheep Dies, as well as Textures and Frames, Summer Shadows Dies, and of course the beautiful Delicate Dahlias. So um, keep that in mind. There's plenty of time left, but not much. So next Monday will be my last one for being able to show anything from Celebration. Hi, Elaine, welcome. So today I'm going to work on um, what has rapidly become my favorite stamp set. I guess once I start working with something that it becomes a favorite, and that's out of the mini catalog, July to December, although it didn't actually start till August. And that is the, hi, Linda, welcome. That is the Peaceful Place suite of products. And um, once I started playing around with this yesterday, uh, when I decided that that's what I wanted to do, um, I just, I almost couldn't stop. So this is on page 36, 37 shows all the products, and then 38 as well for the whole suite. And I don't have all of the products in this one, but I will tell you that the Peaceful Cabin Bundle is, is awesome. It is. And this can be used for any time of the year. So don't think of it as just a Christmas or holiday uh, stamp set or bundle. Um, I have a couple more things here that I've checked off. The ribbon. The embossing folder is great, and I know that I'm going to have to probably get more of the Peaceful Place Specialty Designer Paper, which I will show you in a minute. But one nice thing about this is it's very monochromatic, and so I'm dealing with basically basic gray. Um, I've got one sample where I can show you some black that I've used with it, but it is so peaceful because it's monochromatic, and I, I've always liked that look. If you look at some of the other samples that they show here, you will see some color that add to it, which is nice. And over here, a product that I've really not played with much, but I need to, is the cork. Um, I don't know if you can see that too well here. Is This is cork. It is very easy to use, but I've really only played with it a little bit. Not enough to, 
to really demonstrate with it yet. So anyway, let's get going. And I will show you the stamp set. It has 11 cling stamps in there. That's the red rubber. And I have taken the time to put the, the dies in here on a piece of, um, oh, what do I want to say? Um, it's not sticky. Magnet. It's a magnet sheet. Um, there are 13 dies. And what's nice is that there are three of them that show um, some kind of looking like it's snow. And of course, trees. And the cabin. And then these trees fit inside this one that I'm going to use today. And then these little trees, um, let's get this back on here, um, have little holes in it so that you can pop through that. And then some extra trees too. Some snowflakes, and there's also a, a die that goes with a fence, a little fence post. And this funny looking little thing right here, can you see this, there we go, is a fox. There's a little fox here. And actually, this little fox fits up in this. So he fits up in there from the stamped part. So it's, it's very cleverly designed, and um, I think you're gonna like it. So welcome, Gloria. Hi, Carol. All right, so. Oh, and on the stamp set itself, there's a cloud, some stars. Here's the little fox and some lovely sentiments that this one is the one I'm going to use today that does sound like it's more for the Christmas uh, holidays, but just a good thank you down here, uh, kindness, wishing you the best. So this would also be very good for a masculine type card. So let's move along. And when I'm done, I've got some really nice samples to show you too. Um, so I'm going to start, if you can see here, um, again, I'm using the monochromatic basic gray um, instead of the stark black. I love the, the difference between the black and the gray, and I like the light of this. Even the trees are going to be gray. So here is, and I don't have the index sheet on this. Actually, I've either lost it when it came out of the package or I didn't get it. But if you don't want to put those index sheets on your stamps, you don't need to. They do stick on with just the, the rubber that's on there and they stick just fine. So I'm going to start by stamping and just tap, 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 because I have found that I'm getting more ink around here if I press too hard. So you wanna make sure that you just tap, 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 and then I will put this here. I'm gonna go about three inches up from the bottom and move up so you can see me. Let's zoom out a little bit there. There we go. Um, Oh, good, I did not get any anything outside of that on there. So that's that, we'll put that aside. And then I'm also going to do gray. Hi Debbie, welcome. I'm gonna do the basic gray with the three trees as well. And I'm gonna go close to the top on that. And because of the way the dies are done on these, you want to stay close to the left, left edge of your paper. And I'm doing a top fold card, so I'm doing this with the um, five and a half 
by four and a quarter side. So this is going to fit on a, um, I, I didn't cut this down anything to, to mount anything behind it or a mat. So this is going to go on a top fold card that is 11 by four and a quarter. So it's the whole thing. I did not, I'm not gonna, what do I wanna say? I do not have a mat to go on this. All the paper is gonna fit on this exactly. So I was over, I think, far enough on this. And if I show you the dies again, um, okay. Where did I put that? Okay. Uh, okay, something is not where I thought I'd put it. Okay. It will come back. Not a problem. So I have already cut these. So that way you'll see what I mean. Um, this is close to the left edge, and I have pre-cut these like this. So those are pre-cut. I'll save that for later. And I have also pre-cut This one's over a little bit more. Pre-cut the cabin. Now, there is another die in the set that's a little bit strange. Let me grab it over here that I did die cut out in um, and if you see this, it has all the holes here. Okay, there's a little place up here where you could probably put some paper behind it. Um, there we go, I had it on the wrong side. Um, that's my double-sided paper because I made a mistake over here. Where you could probably put some yellow behind so you could see some light coming through. So that's what that funny looking die is like. So if you wanted to put this in front of the stamped image. So this is stamped and die cut out with this open image. And then this one is just stamped and that's the one that I'm going to use today. But I did want to point this out that it just adds another dimension to your card. So what I'm going to do is mount these two together but before I do that, I want to show you the paper. The paper is gorgeous. And I think I have enough of each one of these. Let's see. Hi, Gloria. Uh, did I say hi? Hi, Gloria. I do, don't know if I said hi to you. Um, the paper is specialty because it has some silver accents on one side, and then the other side has the... Um, like smoky slate and gray and shading of that. So um, I'm actually going to use part of this one. The silver sides are just stunning. Okay, look at this one. Um, these would make beautiful, beautiful scrapbook pages as well. Um, here I've got pieces left of this one with the silver trees. And here's another one. And I love the buffalo check on the other side. And then the silver on this side. So there's, that's all that's left of that piece. Then these I have full sheets of. Um, oh, there's this one again. Then this one is designed probably for a scrapbooking, but you could cut it down any way you want. And it has four identicals for a six by six. So this can be cut down that way with these trees just in smoky slate on the other side. And 
then here's one. That's the one I think I just showed you that has the buffalo check on the other side. Yes, Linda, you will love these papers. They're just, I just love them. And then this one is the wood grain in silver and gray with some trees on the other side. And this is just like a geometric design and cabins. So who has a cabin when you go to? You might want to have some, some cabin pictures. There's that. And then this is one that has this design on, just a little crosshatch design here. Just let me get that out of the way. And then this side is designed to be cut in half at six inches, and then you can use four, eight, 12. So you could get um, six nice pieces out of this. So I know I will be getting more of that paper because I just love it. Just love it. All right, let's snap those back together. So the paper that I chose to use is this one, and that's the one that had the tall trees on it, and then just the, the diamond design in smoky slate, and like a, a stamped off smoky slate on the back. So I just took this part here, like you might see a night sky. And that's going to go at the top Got a piece here for the envelope. And I have stamped and die cut out of um, Stitch So Sweetly. The may, the may you enjoy the peace of this beautiful season. So that's going to go on there as well. And then I had, this is just a piece that I stamped on and got a piece of or some ink on one side so I just did a little tear across here to make it look more like snow and when I put this together I'm just going to add that to it just to add to more dimension and I'm going to eliminate putting any um, dimensionals on this one except for dimensionals on the sentiment so let's assemble And I'm going to use Tombow glue. So I've got some wiggle room on here. Make sure my card's opening in the right direction. Can't tell you how many times I have done something and it's upside down and the card isn't going to open right. So, oh, I just love that. And then this piece is going to go on here like this. Um, and this would be good with some dimension to it, but um, I'm just gonna make it flat on this one. And when I did this on the piece that was four and a quarter by five and a half, you always have some wiggle room where you can cut some off if you need to but I do want the trees to go as close to the top as I can. So let's add some glue to that too. So if everybody's having a good end of summer, it sounds like we're going to get fall coming in like a lion and get some rain and cooler weather. And actually I'm kind of ready for the cooler weather. It's um, kind of, hold on while I think here. Um, but again, I like that wiggle room that I get with the glue, so I can glue that down. Um, kind of tired of the 85 degree weather in the middle of September, but I'm not ready for cold weather either. Now, this one's going to go on here. But I want to take that extra piece that has what looks like snow when you tear that across. So I'm just going to put that up here 
right at the base of those trees and just cover up the little bit of that that's straight. Um, I wanted that look. Again, it's using up a scrap. Um, not something that you have to do, but I saw that extra piece of paper there, so I did it. So that's going to go up here. So I think with the layers on here, it makes it thick enough that I didn't want to add dimensionals to that. And then this piece is going to come down here. And I did, um, when I'd stamped this a little bit earlier and cut it off, I knew that I wanted the the uh, chimney to not go too far up into the tree because this was a longer piece of paper, but I want it to come right to the bottom. So I just wanted a little bit of the, the chimney to come right up there. So let's add some glue to that. And you can see I made a mistake. I didn't like it, so I turned it over. Here we go with that, and then just line it up at the bottom, wiggle it around as needed. So that is the simple card, even without a sentiment on it. Um, looks like I could trim that off just a tad on that side, so let me grab some scissors here. Just a little bit. There we go. So there's the card. Just a nice black night sky. And then here's the may you enjoy the peace of this beautiful season. So it is very peaceful and that I will pop up with dimensionals. And I've got some little minis here. Thanks, Carol. I just, I think this might be one of my Christmas cards this year. So I've got little minis here, so I'll add several of those. I still have family visiting with me for a couple more weeks, and we've been having a lot of fun cooking out every night, but we'll see if that doesn't um, last too much longer, I guess. So I'm just going to put that in the center, and then decide if it needs some bling to go with it. So I've got the matte black knots matte black dots, not knots, that I could put here or stay with the white and these opal rounds. Thanks, LJ. Welcome. I didn't see you on earlier. Welcome, welcome. So we've got the opal rounds or the matte black dots or just leave it blank. I'm not sure. Thanks, Debbie. I do too. I just, there's nothing that really pops it out because I do have some samples to show you where they're kind of popped a little bit too much. But I am going to add some Wink of Stella to the roof where it looks like there's snow there and along the, the bottom edge and put some on the trees, although I don't think you see it very much. And then 
cut a piece of the paper. I like the buffalo check, the big wide buffalo check to put on the, um, the envelope. Okay, I'll add some white dots to that, Sue. And obviously you can never have too much Wink of Stella in my world. I still so much miss that shimmer paint that we had. And I hope at some point we get it back someday. And I think it, I did mention, but I don't have any handy right now, um, a while back that you can take a Wink of Stella and squeeze some of it into a spritzer, one of our spritzers, and make your own little shimmer paint. It's not the same, but it does work. Welcome, Nancy. Okay, let's trim this off. Then I'll put some opal rounds on there. I can't, guess I can't cut and talk at the same time. <laughs> oh, goodness sakes. Because we can't have a naked envelope. So there we go. Let's see. One more thing. Let's add the opals. That's what the selection was. And these are all the same size, so I don't have tiny ones to put on there. But these opal rounds, oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. Perfect. There we go. I love that card. Love it, love it. And this was um, one of the little fences that I cut out, but because I put the that sentiment on here, I decided to go without it, but I'll show you a couple samples that have the fence posts on there. Those are so cute. Those are so cute. So let's look at some other samples. This is just a plain one. Um, I made a slimline card using some of that paper. And I've not put a sentiment on the front yet, but I'm sure it will have a sentiment on the inside. And this is the ribbon that goes with this suite of products. And I don't know if it has an, it's just called white, but it's got a sparkle to it. Glittered organdy ribbon, that's what it's called. The glittered organdy ribbon, it's gorgeous. So we've got that. Okay, I think this was the first card that I made. Um, and I used, this is the side that had the buffalo check on the other side, and this is all popped up. I don't know if you can see on the edge here, this is all with dimension on it. And the trees there, and this has the fence on it. And then I use the sentiment, your kindness makes the world a more beautiful place to be. And I didn't stamp it really very good, but um, it works. And then it has the Wink of Stella on there. So I really like that one, too. Here's another one uh, with some color to it. Mounted on uh, balmy blue. And I stamped with Evening Evergreen, I believe. And then used the blending brush with balmy blue and masked to get the moon behind the the cabin. And then this one was a little bit longer to show the snow and has the the two little fence posts there. So that's a favorite too. Now here's one I did in vanilla and um, soft suede, I believe, with some green. Um, it's growing on me, but I don't really care for it all that much. Maybe because I got was so used to the um, just the gray and the monochromatic of the gray and the the black, but it, it's okay. 
And then I had a little strip here that I added some more snowy looking effect there. So that's, that's another one. Now this one is just the same paper that I used on the slimline card. And just a piece of that with a sentiment at the bottom because there's plenty of room at the bottom of that piece of designer paper where you can just stamp right on there. So that's nothing more than designer paper, some ribbon, and a sentiment. And that's mounted on mint macaron. So we've got a little bit more color there, a little bit more, um, probably something for the holidays. Now here's one that I popped the, uh, the two fences out a little bit more. So it's really got a lot of dimension on there. But look at the sky. And on that one, I stamped in Night of Navy. And then I took our Whisper White, Whisper White Craft ink pad. And this is the only craft pad that we have. I used a blending brush and just used the white and pulled up on that to get a um, real misty look. And then I had a little bit of purple left in my purple blending brush to make it look like um, um, Northern Lights. That was my effect for that one, to make it look like the Northern Lights there. So that was a little bit different with that one. And then this one, this is the last one. Hey Fran, welcome. I was looking for an inspiration. Do you ever look at a card that you've already done and say, why don't I make that one with the, pro with the, um, the products that I'm using right now? So I had this card that I made a while back. I think it was one of the days I was doing something uh, with my team. And this is the polished pink and designer paper, circle die, and the, the, the dahlia, gorgeous dahlia, a little bit of ribbon, and a stamp across it. Fantabulistic. So I looked at that and thought, I'll bet that would look really pretty with something from this bundle and this suite of products. So this is what I came up with. So we've got some basic gray cardstock mounted on a little bit of black here. And I use the um, embossing folder that goes with this bundle. Two pieces of designer paper. These are both the same, one, one side, one the other. That's the buffalo check that you just saw and this one. And those are two by four. Made a circle die stamped some of the trees on there, had a little bit of this awesome um, buffalo check ribbon that we have in the catalog, and just stamped thank you across there. So there was my little sketch for this one, and this is what I came up with using this suite of products. So um, thanks, Sue. I, I I had fun making all those samples. I didn't actually want to quit. It was so much fun. So I'll be making more too. So um, we have a sketch here and go with that. So looking at a sketch and seeing what you can do with something that you already have, just go for it. Take that paper, use it, and then just that little strip of black there. So let me know what you think. Thank you. So that's it for today, and I will see you next week. And it was so nice to have you all here today. Nancy, Debbie, some people I've not seen before, or at least for a while. Elaine, thank you. So um, this was the card. Let me know if there's anything you need, and I will see you next Monday at 3.30. Have a great rest of the week. Enjoy the good weather and enjoy the cooler weather when we get it. Bye-bye.